and welcome once again, my fellow YouTube people. I'm Steel Walrus, and you are awesome. And today, I have a fantastic announcement to make. We've got 100 subscribers going on up in here. So I want to thank each and every one of you for being so awesome and subscribing to my channel. And I hope that more will join our army of little walruses very soon. Uh, if not, that's all good. We'll just enjoy ourselves together as we have done for so long now. Now, I'm sorry about last week. I am trying rather unsuccessfully to adjust my schedule. Uh, Free State Gaming, the community I belong to, is going through some changes scheduling-wise. Uh, we're beginning a new series of events in Mount and Blade Warband. Um, which, by the way, if you're interested in that, if you have uh, the North and South mod, we're doing, and I'll I'll move on from this, but I want to let you know because I know a lot of people play Warband. Um, it's a pretty common game amongst PC gamers. But uh, we're doing a thing called Historical Campaigners, and essentially what it is is a, uh, a series of persistently linked battles. So last night we did a battle in West Virginia, the Union won, so they're pushing further into Virginia itself. And uh, will continue to do so until they take Richmond. And on the other side, if the Confederacy starts to win, they'll push up through the north and into Washington. And when one side wins, and one side takes the, uh, the other's capital, essentially the war is over. We move on to another mod. I believe Wigs and Tories is next. So if you're interested in that and you don't have a unit, or you do have a unit but they're not really doing much, you're welcome to roll with 42nd Virginia. That's my unit. Uh, pretty mature group. Most of us are in our 20s. Um, with a couple of exceptions. But uh, we try and make sure the people that we bring in are good people, are relaxed, are chill. Uh, I'll leave that be for now. You know, and mature. It's very important. You know. So uh, we're we're focused on that right now. And uh, as leader of the Forty Second Virginia, I am very busy making sure everybody's squared away. Everybody knows when the events are. Is you know nice and ready and practiced for them. Um. So anyhow, if you're interested in that, let me know. I'll get you added on Steam. And we'll get together. If you have a unit that's interested in participating in this, uh, you're they're welcome to come in. Uh, it's generally Mondays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Um, so, you know, and it'll be in the evening, 7 o'clock Eastern Time. I know that kind of conflicts with Dixieland Army events, but, uh, you know, that's, that's okay. Um... So we may be retooling the schedule to be a little bit more inclusive and we don't want to, you know, we don't want to step on any toes or anything because we're, we're all one big happy community. But anyhow, uh, that's, uh, that's all I have to say about that. Like I said, if you have any questions or whatever, let me know in the comments and I'll get, get you scored away. Now. That being said, I'm going to be pre-recording at least two episodes, if not three, today. Um, so this is the first, this is the Tuesday episode. Uh, it's going to be probably around 45 minutes, maybe an hour, depending on how I feel, because, you know, it's 100 subscribers we're doing now. You know, I want to make this a little special. Uh, that being said, I would like, I would like to experiment with the idea of some like uh, potential potential projects, like a, a special episode, maybe of Stellaris, or maybe just a Steel Walrus special episode, where I talk about like my favorite YouTubers, YouTubers that have um, inspired me to do what I do, or you know maybe do an actual Station. proper review of this mod. Uh, which would be fun. I think you guys know how I feel about it. Been fairly open about my rather positive view of this mod 
but I could actually go into depth and, and sort of pick, you know, what my problems with it are, what my favorite bits are, things like that. Um, you know, or we could start a new series, but that's going to take... It's probably going to take away from doing this one, at least slightly, because the amount of time I have to focus between YouTube, uh, Free State Gaming in the 42nd, and what little social life I actually have, I'm, I'm kind of worried about that, because I know I'd said I was going to start a new series, and I've, I've put a couple of prototype episodes out there, and they haven't done so well, so it's not really worth my time. If I want to grow the channel, you know, I, I need to do things that are going to work. So if you have any ideas, let me know, because I do want to grow the channel. I'd like to get a thousand subscribers by the end of the year, which is pretty ambitious based on the projections I've seen. Uh, we're going to do Shield Emitter 1s. Um, yeah, go ahead and research it. Now we have got... Let's see, colonization costs, building maintenance, station maintenance, ship maintenance. I'd imagine that's because we have so many ships out and about right now. Uh, let's take a look at our ship design here. I'm building a lot of heavy escorts currently. So let's see if I can... Well, that's not gonna do. I think that's the lowest I can get the maintenance. Actually not sure where that dip is coming from. We are colonizing a world, but colonization is only accounting for 16 out of 215 negative. Uh, we do have a lot of ships rolling around right now, but still. Uh, we do have our fleet actually outside of orbit. I want to make sure that we can uh, sustain having a big fleet. So I think what I'll do, so we continue to build up our reserve, is go ahead and put these guys back in orbit. That should save us, what, 400 and something? Almost, probably almost 500 energy a tick, which is fantastic. Uh, we're getting ready for the big one, by the way. Uh, we're still going to be working on squaring this situation away here in the Delta Quadrant. Because we're going to need as much as possible... Uh, with regards to power to deal with the Ferengi who are also Bullions and humans because of course they are um, I'd like to get my fleet power up a little bit more I think we can without too much trouble I really wish deeply in my heart of hearts that we could do more for our energy production. But honestly, there's just not much to do. Uh, my hands are kind of tied here. Uh, we've, we've made all the cuts in food production that we can. See, we're only two ahead on this planet, so that's... Well, let me see. It's only going to bring up one extra, and we'll need to make up for four, I think. Deflector 2. Power use 25. We'll look into that. See how that'll affect maintenance and things like that, because we have a truly massive fleet now. It was... Somebody's at war with somebody. Benzite and the uh, Cardis are at war, finally. Gonna put you here, Bruski. 
Let's build another power plant. Actually, let's switch this out, build a power plant here. Just gotta keep an eye on Evos, or Erevos. Research, research is complete on Culture Center. Cool. Uh, crew quarters. That's just hull regeneration. I'm not too worried about that. Student naval capacity. Okay, we got we got spare planets now. Polaris. We could actually add into the Bopak expanse. Let's go ahead though and start them on the path to having a spaceport. Okay. Let's go back to our planets and sectors, find the Bopak Expanse, unless that's not what it's actually called. It's the Kagaton Prime Sector, Managed Sector. Uh, we'll try and be uninvasive. Boom. Uh, that's such a weird looking sector, but I'll take it. Now, where is our construction ship? Well, somebody pointed out to me that I probably ought to look into uh, the construction, or the uh, updating of our construction fleet. I agree with them quite strongly, in fact. However... I think what we'll do is just design a new one and build that. And use the more out of date one just to do quick stuff and sort of get things settled away. Because we've expanded our borders a bit, so we have some more stuff within them that we can mine. I don't really worry too much about minerals. We're getting a thousand a month. Our energy is so, so far behind though, which is not good. Let's go and do ship designer. Where's our construction ship? Kind of weird looking. Warp range is double what it was. That should work fine. We don't need any of this. We will build two more. Uh, let's see how Evwas is doing. Quite well, it seems. Or Erevwas. It's a weird name. And we can sustain having that fleet out at sea, quote unquote, at sea. That's good. Now we'll wait until we see how Mercura does. We'll do another heavy escort and. Now let's see. Maintenance to fleet power is probably kind of important. So let's have a look. Okay, so maintenance to, uh, oh, balls, hold on. Maintenance is 2.434 to 16. So that's eight damage, essentially, uh, around eight damage, a little less. Seven, eight damage, something about. Because energy is what I'm worried about. 
Uh, that'd be eight times what? Four? So actually our Corvettes are our most efficient ships. So let's go ahead and build another... That's ten, I think. Yeah, that's that feels right. And if it comes down to it, we can we can find other ways to uh, boost our ability to keep up with that. We have new construction ships. Bring this one here. Jump almost directly to that system. Bring this other construction ship right here. Oh, these are our new ones. Build mining stations. And... that ready for more this could be interesting but I'm worried ah better mineral processing plant make our stuff more efficient, perhaps, and free up some slots, even, I hope. Okay. Very interested in dealing with them. These guys have just gotten the crap kicked out of them. Kind of feel feel bad for the the brain. Wonder if they now oh, we're too much of a threat for them not to hate us. Okay, we are short a scientist. Well, let's see here. Mr. Yourself is back. So let's do this. shield emitters. We'll look at re-arming and stuff soon enough when it comes to uh, comes to the time that we need to do that. Now they really hate us. Yeah. See I'm thinking if we make them a tributary that could be nice. Is Vothr next in my little expansion into the uh, into the Delta Quadrant? I'm gonna start yanking away their vassals and tributaries and eat into them eventually. And it's all in preparation to ensure that we are prepared to deal with the Ferengi Alliance. Now they are inferior, but their technology is better than ours, evidently. I don't know how much I trust that. But we shall see. Trader 
trade deal with the Devor is timed out. Oh, that's with the Devor assembly. I don't really care. Eh. Yeah, let's not worry about it. They're only one planet for now. Much more interested in integrating these guys. They're still disloyal, so we can't even vassalize them yet. Uh, which could end up being a problem. Now we're getting 56 a month from tax subjects, which is pretty good. I think that's 40, 50 percent of their, 25 uh, percent of their income. So they're making what, about 200 and something? I would assume it would not be too much different from what the Voth are making. They're similar in size and scope. The problem is the relative power of subjects that we have to worry about. We'll see. Yeah, a little bit heavier on the, the cost now. Uh, we've got a science ship laying around. Survey the systems if you would. Oh, I just... I think we'll be okay. Aldebaran. I feel like we've already conquered an Aldebaran system before. Perhaps not. Okay, they're all the way over here. Let's go survey that. I mean, we can't even see a lot of these systems. They just happen to fall under our influence, which is pretty crazy if you think about it. Like, there are systems that we just can't even get sensor contact on. But they're ours. Nobody's going to mess with them. Or at least nobody can legally mess with them. Which I suppose is also good. We are running at 8 frames a second right now. That is ridiculous. Ah. We were approaching a save. So let's get into that point. How far are we in this episode? Alright, we're going to play another. I think I'm actually just going to let this be a 30 minute episode. See if I can't figure out the slowdown issue. Um. Oh no, it's worked itself out. Just needed to chill for a second, I suppose. But we will keep it at 30 minutes. I'm sorry this is not a super exciting episode with lots of explosions. Uh, we're just sort of slowly gathering and marshalling our forces for an offensive. Uh, but at least we've had a chance to talk and celebrate, you know, 100 subscribers and, and catch up and stuff. Uh, so you guys know what's going on, which is very important. Excuse me. And I'll also have, oh, uh, also have footage from that stuff I was talking about earlier on my channel fairly soon. Uh, that way you can get more information on it. The first fight wasn't too big, you know. But it was fun. Lots of fun. Got pretty intense at the end. And that's what matters. Everybody gets out and has a good time. Now we're back to 9 frames a second. So, uh, it may have something to do with the autosave. Let's see here. Gameplay. Let's do annually. Maybe that'll help. Seems to have helped. Research complete. Maybe. Of course, there's also pretty, pretty definitely some wars or something going on. I would imagine that is affecting it significantly. So, anywho, 
Uh, actually, the last of the uh, the new ships is about to arrive. Station complete. Now, of course, these ships are not adding a whole lot by themselves, but compared to what they're going to take up energy credit wise and uh, power relative to naval capacity, they're pretty good. I've got 150k right now. That's awesome. We could actually afford, what? Three or four more of these things? Let's do that. And let's see here. Let's look at Erevoas. Boom, boom, boom. Got two extra power going on. We've got this guy. That's cool. Let's, uh, let's build a physics lab. Actually up to a thousand society research, which is insane. Uh, let's do... Huh. We'll consider that in the future. Let's do more army health. I think we have like a grand total of plus 100% now. Which is amazing. But, uh, we'll see. Gonna move my mic back from my face. Okay. Well, it looks like the frame issues are sort of working themselves out, which is nice. I think we're good. Fleet-wise, let me, let me see what the production looks like. See what the fleet maintenance looks like. Let's give ourselves another two Corvettes. Maybe three. So you gotta remember, generally, they'll sort of, like, prioritize whatever aggroes them. Which, uh, will be the Corvettes, because they're very small, very fast, and they are set to aggressive. Uh, they're also the smaller ships, so they'll soak up a lot of damage. Yeah, we'll have to replace them, but that's fine. They're so fast to build, and they're so quick. Um, it'll be easy to kind of get them up to the front lines. And that, if I remember correctly, was kind of the doctrine of the Dominion, was lots of little giant, sh or, you know, little ships in large numbers. Of course, we've also got these uh, escort cruiser things, which are pretty sweet. Express, what was it, F9? I think it was Control F9. There we go. That's our fleet. It's ridiculously large. But it's awesome. And I'm not sure what these are. I think these are captured Corvettes. Hopefully they will be the first to fall. They have been S upgraded to our specs, so I'm happy about, about that. They just look a little different. But we'll throw them in first so we have a nice uniform Dominion fleet. Let's see, we've got... Uh, what's this? A destroyer. And there's our Corvettes, the little ones. Those are... Oh, those are transport ships. That's from the... Okay. 
Yeah, it makes more sense. We have our battleships. We have such a huge fleet of heavy escorts. We have just six battleships. They're not that efficient. 18 heavy escorts, 18 battle cruisers, 11 cruisers, 23 destroyers, and 64 corvettes. That is huge. Do two more. I want their fleet power to be pathetic compared to ours, and I think we can do that. see ship size is 22 that maintenance is a little high excuse me anywho I think We'll see what this is going on. Ah, the uh, Hadadashi civilization has been encountered. That's cool. Um, I think, I think though, that we will kind of call it here. And next episode will be a nice big episode, hopefully. Assuming the frames and processing speed holds out. And, uh, anywho, I will see you for you guys on Friday. I've been Steel Walrus, you've been awesome, and thanks again for getting us to 100 subscribers, because that's pretty freaking amazing. All right, peace out.